Hi there, I'm C. Scott Brown from Authority Media here with David Lee from Asleep at CES 2023. So Asleep is a company that's trying to uh, make a better way to track the way we sleep, right? Yeah. So, so tell me a little bit about the company. Uh, yeah, so, so but I have to devise the company name. Company name is Asleep. Asleep, because, oh, uh, okay. Like Google, I want to remember all people just remember not Asleep, Asleep. Asleep, yeah. okay, or cool. Asleep. Yeah. So this is our dream. So Asleep is a sleep company that measure personal sleep in convenient way. Then what is the convenient convenient way? It means we only utilize smartphone itself. So for example, we have to wear any wearable watch during sleep. It is totally inconvenient. So we don't have to buy anything because all of, about 80% of mankind has smartphone. The reason why we utilize smartphone sound as your sleep tracker input features. So we just measure personal sleep by using sound and just analyze sleep stage and sleep amnia, sleep hypomnia, snoring. So we can detect all of the sleep, sleep stuff things by using sound information. So this is something that you don't need to wear a smartwatch. You don't need to wear anything on your chest or on your head or whatever. It's just using the microphone from your smartphone. Yeah. That, and is that is that any smartphone? Yeah, we only tested uh, tons of smartphone case and about four class a full classification exists for smartphone mic. So there are tons of uh, there are tons of smartphones, but there are four types of the mic over all smartphones. So we just put nearby bedroom and just measure for just check measuring button. Then sleep is starting. Then we just record sleep sound. This is called acoustic sound. So we just utilize acoustic sound and our AI model is trained by Stanford and it's world top tier hospital, including Korea top tier hospital named Seoul National University Hospital. So we get our tons of data from hospital domain. So during the hospital test named pornosomography, which is the hospital sleep test. So they just attach 20, 20 sensors near your body and they measure brain signal, heart rate signal, various things. And doctor just diagnose, diagnose this based on this sensor information. But we just put smartphone nearby center and just get acquiring data together, sound and brain signal. Then doctor just diagnose their uh, uh, patient's sleep condition by using brain signal. Then, for example, this brain signal is REM sleep, this brain signal is light sleep. Then we just gather the data and sound and we just show to AI, this sound is REM sleep, this sound is wake. wake. We get this tons of data and last year we announced officially in American Sleep Society, Com the, and this is held uh, July and it's in North Carolina. We announced that we outperformed any other sleep records including Pipit, Garmin, also one, one of the conducted sleep tracker, including uh, sleep score labs. So we already outperformed. Also all of the company nearby this sleep monitoring company, we already outperformed various sleep trackers, even though we utilize smartphone sound. That's awesome. So, yeah. uh, and so it's more than this though, because you also incorporate smart home devices in the study. So can you explain how that works? I, I saw that there's TVs and smart speakers and all sorts of things involved with Got it. it. So uh, we, we, we are the sleep diagnosis company, but in convenient and in accurate way. But the most important thing is changing the life. So there are two types. So changing the human behavior by using our sleep report. Second is the changing the environment during sleep. So I want to explain one part first. So changing the habit. Before sleep, the uh, headspace calm. Various sleep uh, meditation companies suggested a collaboration to our company. Well, some meditation is helpful to sleep, but it is not proved. So by utilizing our API, then some meditation can we, we can prove uh, this meditation can help for, for some individuals, but something is not. Then we let uh, headspace recommend any that uh, several things. So this is one example. And we officially collaborated with the cosmetic company, the top five worldwide. So they developed the sleep scent. 
So some sleep scent can improve personal sleep, especially falling asleep. So before sleep, just use their cosmetics and check their sleep by using our application. This is also changing the behavior. But the most important thing is environment control. This means ambient environment control. So people didn't have awareness during sleep. And falling asleep, it is hard to remember something. So just put smartphone nearby air, air, uh, air purifiers. So we are officially collaborated, collaborated with LG Electronics. So we opened the innovation with LG for the smart room. So there, in our showcase room, there are tons of uh, appliances, home appliances, including air conditioner, air purifier, humidifier. So just put uh, our smartphone to LG's table first. Then we recognized, oh, this table is uh, chargeable to smartphone. Then we recognize that smartphone is connected to charge. Then we starting to see the measurement. And the temperature is just reduced. The reason why the core temperature during sleep is reduced during, during falling asleep. So this is one example. And air purifier is just uh, turned on. The reason why then during sleep, we just output CO2. Then the air quality is changed. So sleep maintenance, the key point of sleep maintenance is that just static environment, not changing the environment. So air purifier can support maintaining air quality. And also the light is the important. So the central light just during just uh, the smartphone recognize the charging state. Then lighting, we connected Philips Hue to the central light. So Philips Hue light is just turned off. And our, one of the, our new solution named still light is just indirect light. So just turn up 0 to 1 is not good. Continuously turning up is important for the light information. And during sleep, there is some time that someone who occurs snoring, then this is due to the humidity is low. So just uh, humidifier is just turned on if snoring is detected. And sometimes uh, there are some thunders or rainy due to the dead issues, the person just awake. Then our, the, our showroom, Alexa speaker and also SKT, one of the top co uh, company in Korea, just turn on ASMR or sleep meditation mm -hmm. to emerge to sleep again. So this is examples. And about the waking of time, the light is gradually turned on and also alarm is just crescendo, it's just increasing gradually. That is important. Human body is continuous, but all of the just stimulation is discrete. That can make people stressful. So this is the calm tech. So, so people didn't have any awareness. Just put their smartphone and fall asleep. Then the air furniture, uh, air, air purifier, and air, air conditioner, humidifier change it based on human information. This is called human-centric design. This is our smart home case. So is there any hardware at all with the company, or is this all software based? We are, uh, we have, uh, our main solution is software. So named Sleep Track API. This is B2B platforms to open the sleep result to other company. Other company has various reactors. For example, Samsung has tons of air, uh, air conditioner and just also humidifier. Then connect, just we send our data to Samsung. The Samsung's reactor change it based on this data. So we don't have any hardware. What about uh, what about privacy? You know, obviously sleep is considered health. Okay. You know, is, is privacy an important thing for you? Yeah, that is also important. For the legal issue, uh, the, if customer agrees to suggest their data to the company, then that's okay until now. But it's not sure because security and privacy are very important nowadays. So the reason why we use sound uh, is that uh, basically sound information is it uh, consists of two axes, time and amplitude. So this is general sound. So this is your sound transformation via amplitude. But if we change the perspective to frequency, then we just change axis from amplitude to frequency. Then amplitude means the voice tone and individual information. If we remove amplitude and just get frequency to our database, then ampli 
then we didn't get any other privacy information from our database. So this has two strengths. First, reduce the capacity. Sound is totally big. But if we reduce amplitude, then the uh, quantity of the sound is just smaller. And after that, we just put this data to our database. Then there is no privacy. It is impossible to check inverter, just uh, inevitable, uh, just returning to original sound because we just discard amplitude. But the most important thing to during sleep is frequency and decibel. So we change the sound information to more informative format. But and the best thing is that is that privacy is also solved. So what about um, what, what what about what are you doing at CES? What are you hoping to achieve here? Yeah, so our main uh, keyword is dream your next business partner. During CES, various uh, global companies visited our booths, including Google, also Amazon, and also especially we are collaborating with a cosmetic company. So L'Oreal visited several times to discuss how to introduce our solution to their product. So our main goal is we are totally focused on diagnosis, especially in home, home domain. This is our weapon. But if we achieved the high crush, convenient, and also low cost, then company willing to introduce our solution to make their new product or reinforce their product. So this is the reason why we participate in CES. And about 10, more than 10 companies suggested new collaboration with our company, including telecoms, and also uh, uh, smartphone company, or TV company, or meditation company, and also especially NASA visited our company. Or how to astronaut to is sleeping to, to during space? This is just a question. And so they want to do some research to find some way to boost the sleep during the space condition. This is just a funny suggestion. Uh, what is um, what is the biggest mistake that we make sleeping? What do you think we need to do to, to ah, sleep better? Okay. The, I'm not doctors, but uh, doctor said don't check the smartphone. But it is impossible. <laughs> yeah. So human is it is hard to change behavior. So uh, I just strongly recommend finding one of the habit before sleep or waking or sleep. This is the most important thing for sleep. So so uh, many people change their habit before sleep and falling us uh, waking up time, but. Just conditionally, oh, I did just use cosmetics. Then just our brain just remember, oh, before sleep, they use cosmetics several times. Then we put cosmetics, then brain feels, oh, they are, uh, the people each are planning to sleep. So this is the most important. But nowadays, many people change their habit relevantly. Smartphone usage, or sometimes just eating something. So the body and also brain confused so much before the sleep and after sleep. This is the important thing and many members have misconceptions for this. Hey, yeah. So what's next after CES? Where, 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 what's next for the company? Uh, next? Yeah. Uh, we, uh, for, uh, so next year, we already uh, confirmed our CES boost about more than 1.5 times. So the reason why is that we want to introduce the sleep-related environment, bedroom. But we only we only uh, just showed bedroom conditions. But in the future, we want to go out to bedroom. A diet can affect personal sleep. Exercise can affect personal sleep. So we want to combine various factors, including daytime and nighttime. Also. Uh, one of the ministers in Korea visited to our company, uh, Minister of Transportation. Mobility, if the autonomous uh, world is coming, autonomous, autonomous driving world is coming, then just hand free conditions. Then what people do during car condition, in my feeling, rest. Yeah, so does, this is also one question to mobility. Uh, we want to extend to maximize rest during all of 24 hours by using our solution. The most thing, the most important thing is recognizing personal sleep and changing the 
happy and changing the bedroom and daytime routine and also any other space, office or hotel or various conditions. So we want to extend our sleep track API platform to the all of the life. This is our next. Awesome. Thank you so much. Well, thank you very much, David thank Lee, you. for coming out here. Thank and uh, we look forward to seeing more about you in the future. Yes, thank, thank you. you.